Welcome to the Monthly Market Wrap for March. I'm Paul Sibley of the Buxton Real Estate Group. I hope you've had a wonderful Easter break. Uh, we've certainly had a wonderful month for the month of March, a record month for the offers, 54 sales. In fact, our best uh, March yet for the business. So a lot of activity happening out there in the marketplace. Lots of demand, in fact, demand is exceeding supply at this stage. Our biggest problem at the moment uh, is just trying to get more stock on to satisfy the demand. Certainly a lot of demand coming through the Height, Hampton East, Moorabbin, Cheltenham and surrounding suburbs. With those substantial sales for the month, some ones to really note out there in the marketplace, 30 Royden Street in Hampton East was a record sale, $1.35 million. We had six bidders at that auction, a very well attended auction for a four bedroom townhouse in Hampton East. Another one there at 15A Charles Street in, uh, in Bentley East at $1.33 million with uh, a number of bidders also at that auction there, just showing that the demand for new townhouses throughout the area is very strong and lots of money coming in wanting to buy a modern townhouse. Eight Sanford Street in Hyatt was sold post auction within 48 hours of auction day for $1 million, which was a period California Bungalow, three bed, two bathroom home in a wonderful pocket of height. Another townhouse sale to note, 51A Keith Street in Hampton East, was a three bedroom, two bathroom home with a single lock up garage, and that sold for an exceptional $1,050,000. Just showing again, Hampton East and Hyatt being the front runners in the Bayside area, as well as Moorabbin and Cheltenham leading the forefront uh, of those suburbs surrounding. Always a very hot topic and something I get asked a lot about there in the marketplace is clearance rates. Something really important to note with clearance rates, Victoria wide currently you're looking at around 75 to 79% across the weekend clearance rates. What we're doing uh, throughout the local area is smashing that number there. We're up around the 88, 89 and 90% clearance rates. So you can really see that uh, there's a lot of strong demand throughout the local suburbs. Lots of people wanting to get into those Bayside and surrounding areas. So we're seeing a continuing trend for that to improve. One thing I do get asked almost on a daily basis is when is the best time to sell? Very important question and it's a continuing debate throughout our office and I'm sure a lot of the real estate marketplace. Well, sim quite simply, one important thing to consider is when is the de supply demand curve at its greatest? So when are there is little competing properties with my home out there in the marketplace to draw the buyer's attention? So it really is something I'll look at on a weekly basis as to what are we competing with here in the marketplace. I sit down with my owners and we say, what else is available on offer? What are the buyers looking at? So coming into this cooler period, this winter period, it's important to know that when is the best time to sell? Well, when the demand is really exceeding supply. And what we find with the winter period is that there are quite few properties available for sale. So it might may be a great time for you to consider a sale. And if that's something you're thinking about, please discuss with me at our next visit. So what is happening out there in the marketplace? Well, there's some really groovy things happening in the Hyatt uh, village there. You've had the Diplomat Cafe come into town, a really cool little place to uh, grab your coffee or your breakfast. You've also got the, uh, uh, the local that's come into town just up the road near Woolworth there. And you've got uh, the Hawker Bar. Uh, very much looking forward to enjoying a cold drink there. Um, it's a wine and beer uh, bar there and some food as well. So there's some really exciting things happening, which is only adding to the existing cafes and restaurants that are available along that little shopping village. Of course, we've had the news that Southland Station is uh, certainly commencing and coming forward. All the plans are made available on the website there as to how that's all gonna look with the new platforms and being a commuter station. And that construction will commence late in 2015. Well, I very much look forward to chatting to you in the near future. Um, we've certainly got a lot of exciting things happening out there in the marketplace. As usual, if you are considering buying, selling or leasing property, I'd be delighted if you gave me a call and I look forward to seeing you out there in the market. If you are wondering where I'm standing today, 14 Linton Street, Moorabbin House of the Week. We've just come through our first open for inspection. Huge numbers through the property, very, very well received by the marketplace. Again, a sign of very little supply throughout this area. So if, uh, if you are looking for something that's a really quality renovated two bedroom unit in the Moorabbin area, I would encourage you to come down to the next open for inspection.